Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How you doing today? I've got a, kind of a different video I wanted to do today. It all started with some video footage I found I had long lost. That was a really cool opportunity for us NASCAR model builders to really take advantage of. This kind of digs into some things I used to do in the past with real cars. So this is kind of a real car video, guys, but it pertains to model cars in this particular car. Right. Well, let's just let's just check this out. So what we have here is years ago, years ago, I used to be a part of uh, a shop that we restored vintage race cars. And I got the opportunity to get close to a lot of famous race cars and do some tinkering and, and put my own little touches on. I got the opportunity to meet a gentleman by the name of Jeff Ray, who owns the old Holman and Moody Fred Lorenzen 1966 Galaxy that Fred drove in the 1966 Daytona 500. I have a lot of suspension experience and 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 race car chassis setup all blah 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 and I have my own alignment machine so I would do work out of my garage on you know specialty cars whenever I felt like it. I don't have a shop. I'm not for hire for that. I invited Jeff to bring his car over so we could kind of alignment on it so he could go run it. He didn't doesn't really race a lot but I think he wanted to start running it in some historic events and stuff like that or just tool it around a track but you know it's got to go the wheels got to go straight so i said i got an line machine you want to bring it over and we'll tinker with it so i took this video and i took a whole bunch of pictures and i'll put them up on here but i took this video when he was back in the car out and loading it up on the trailer in my old neighborhood and that was just kind of neat because what are the chances of you having this car in your garage right this this is the video that i took in my garage enjoy it Yeah, it is.
I just wanted to share that video. But it got me thinking, let's swing a little bit into the model car world with this. Let's talk about the 66 Galaxy. What was so really cool about it in NASCAR. The 66 Galaxy was technically the last of the stock cars on the track where they took a basically not quite showroom stock but they would take a car that came from the factory as a street car and they would disassemble it reassemble it and make it and stiffen it up and do all this stuff and do modifications uh to make it a race car the following year is when nascar started saying hey just as long as they look like street cars you can do whatever you want underneath and they started really lighting up because there was a lot of playing around guys there was a lot of playing around in 66 uh, i don't want to say nothing about some guy over in the tall timber country of north carolina up there in wilkesboro area by the name of jim johnson because he really did it did a number on this car yeah junior took that thing and whew. so they were like okay that's a little crazy but uh we're gonna let you guys do what you want underneath because cars were starting to become unibodies and they wanted to put frames in it and they wanted to downsize since ford and wanted them to start running their fair lanes and fair lane was lighter so the only way being the fair lane being a, a unibody car with strut towers and they, they played around with that it kind of worked and kind of didn't but they wanted to get that galaxy frame under those fair lanes so that brings us to that galaxy frame and pretty much up into the 90s especially your banjo matthews rear steer configuration that you saw under the ford models the model kits of the ford thunderbirds that's a banjo matthews rear rear you know watch this video i talk about it that whole design was based off of a ford galaxy suspension layout and frame layout the ford galaxy is such an important car to nascar in so many ways it was just that turning point and it was the car that really set the framework <laughs> no pun intended of what our modern cup cars today are like and most stock car race cars are like today now amt for years has been putting out this really nice especially for the fact that it was done back in the 60s this really nice 66 ford kit and they came with kind of nascar ish stuff to throw on it but the thing about this this 66 uh ford galaxy that amt put out was it was modeled after their top of the line 500 that was called the seven liter which is just a spectacular fast big engine car and it has all the trim for the seven liter 500 and you have to sand all that off to do it correct but the grill is the 500 deluxe with the seven liter emblem on there that isn't the grill that they would run in nascar and there were some resin casters i believe that put out conversion kits for that so lots of times you know we had to deal with what we had so you had to kind of not be quite accurate when you're building the 66 uh galaxy and and i you know there's a couple guys that have built the fred lorenzen car that i had in my garage but there was this great article um in an old scale auto one we'll we'll show you this right here and it, it was from bill coulter who was the builders back in the day that i just admire because he did a lot of stock car stuff and pretty accurate stuff and he did this great article on those cars and i ended up building this car with it um kind of going with that article even though i didn't really i got i cheated a little i didn't put an engine in it and it kind of it, it wasn't going in the direction i want so i finished it up quick but it's a really great article, and we'll probably cover this issue in the next uh, go-back issue of Scale Auto. What the heck, since I have it out. But it was number 66, and that was April of 1990. And a lot of people kind of followed this, and they didn't quite get it right in color. And no, nothing slamming Bill on this, but the color, the chassis and all that, when they did the 66 car, was black. It wasn't light blue. You could, a few years ago, get the 65 Galaxy and uh it came with the fred lorenzen decals that's not the car we're talking about that's not the car that was at my house that was the car that he won the daytona 500 in so that got kitted but the 66 you know they just did a generic decal sheet if you wanted to do a nascar version but they had a lot of cool nascar parts in it and then this article um that bill did uh, really showed you a lot of cool add-ons to do to make that model look really really accurate and really cool and it's a really cool it's a lot of cool little bits to do even now you could follow it and build yourself a pretty accurate one i one day want to give it another shot but 
there is a lot of work you got to do to the body to get it get it correct and if you can get a hold of or scratch build your own grill to make the proper grill build it and bother with that he just used the 500 grill and yeah it, it so what you know it still makes a nice model if you are wanting to build a model of this car i'll probably on the lucas c model car hobby headquarters group make an album and put all my pictures i took when i had the car in my garage and you can go by that if you're wanting to do the 65 you can follow it a little bit it's built very similar to the way the 65 was thanks for watching i hope i hope you learned something enjoyed this video it was uh, just kind of fun to find this i wanted to throw this together real quick for you guys and i want to say thanks to my producers if you want to become a producer go on to my patreon we get uh a lot of stuff going on a lot of interaction a lot of talking over there it really helps support the channel those guys put in a lot of great ideas and we are starting to get the time now to every once in a while give those guys a little bit of a of a little extra video here and there or sometimes they will preview a video before you guys see it here on youtube we're going to be doing that a lot more also don't forget the teespring store we've got the mugs we've got the shirts we super do appreciate every bit that you guys can do by either buying a shirt or just flat out clicking and hitting the like button and subscribing all that helps out a ton i appreciate every single one of you you know it and you know i read your comments so keep the comments going below tell me what you think if i said anything wrong here go ahead and tell me down there what you think i said wrong and i'll either rebuttal you or i'll say oh cool thanks for that info i didn't know so you know what we say here this is me Lucas C. keep gluing those fingers together and keep cutting that styrene and we will see you in the next video oh 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 that was a cool special effect, wasn't it? Well, hello, my fellow car mount. No, 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 no. We got to get this up here. Oh, boy. Well, hello. We wanna, how do we want to do this? We're messing around, we're messing around, we're messing around. Check this out. So, what we have, so what we have here, a gentleman by the name of, I read everything for years. I've always read everything I could about whatever I could. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm done.